So, Ian, why is the sky blue? Well, it's all to do with the fact that the sun produces white light, uh, but that our atmosphere is full of stuff and much denser than space. Well, I understand about the sun producing light and the Earth's atmosphere being quite thick. What's that to do with colour? Let me, let me show you. I've filled this tank with water and I'm going to put this milk powder in it uh, and this will represent our atmosphere. It's actually quite a good representation of the atmosphere because the milk powder represents all the water droplets, all the dust, all the pollen and all the other particles uh, in the atmosphere. And this is our sun producing nice white light, just like it does in space. As the sunlight in space is white. Now, if I lower the sunlight into our atmosphere, you'll see what happens. Oh, yes. Well, the light around the beam appears to be blue. Right. And if I look round into the end of the tank, well, the sun's light, it looks yellow. Well, yes, that's because, as you know, white light is made up of all the colours in our spectrum. Now, all these colours get pushed about by our atmosphere, and it just so happens that the blue light is the one that's scattered most of all. And so when you shine a white light into the atmosphere, all the blue light is scattered all over the place, all over the sky, in fact. And, of course, when you take the blue colours away uh, from the sunlight, you're left with a yellowish-looking mixture, and that's why the sun looks yellow. So if you take away some of the colours that make up white light, you get a new colour. In this case, taking away the blue leaves yellow as the predominant colour, giving the yellow colour of the sun. OK then, Ian, but the sun doesn't just look yellow, because in the late evening when it's setting, it can look red. Now, what's going on there? Is it uh, more blue light being scattered, maybe? Yes, more blue light is being scattered, but something else is happening. As the sun starts to set and lowers, the light has to travel farther and farther through the atmosphere, and that, of course, means... Well, even more stuff and more particles for the light to travel through. Exactly, and I can get the same result by adding yet more milk powder to our sky. Here goes. As the sun travels through more of the atmosphere, even more blue is scattered, making the sun's light more orangey. Then some of the yellows are absorbed by the atmosphere, and when you take the blues and the yellows away from white light, you're left with a red colour, and that's why the sun, just as it sets, appears red. OK, so that leaves us with the red, but it also leaves us with green. Now, I have seen some very red sunsets, but I have never seen a green sunset. It does happen sometimes if you're very, very lucky. Normally, of course, the red light is so strong that uh, you don't even notice the green. Uh, but uh, if you're in the right place at the right time, something fantastic happens. Just as the red is dipping below the horizon, there's only green left, and that's called the green flash. It only lasts about a second, and it's easier to see from space than Earth, but it does happen. And a very lucky scientist in America managed to film it. So as you can see, all the fantastic colours that make up the sky happen because the sun produces white light.